my first question I'm asking because Twitter will kill me if I don't. There are a number of ships on the show, like Choney, Jughead, or Choney, Bughead, etc., who aren't together. Do you think we'll ever see any of those couplings together again by the end of the series? Um, I believe that there is definitely a chance you will see some old ships rising before uh, Riverdale, Swan Song, yes. So Rivervale, especially episode 100, was such a love letter to Archie Comics and the fans. Can you talk about how much fun it was to put that together? Yeah, that, you know, that was, it was, it was, it was so, such a lucky break that our fifth episode of our five episode event arc, Rivervale, also coincided with the hundredth episode. It's very rare that we get lucky that way on Riverdale. Usually our scheduling is unlucky, so that was really, really lucky. And, and obviously I've been reading Archie Comics since I was a kid, and the entire show is sort of a big love letter to that, but it was really nice to actually bring the comic books into the show and to kind of do a meta story about, about, about that. It was really great. I mean, it, I'm, I, I, it's one of the episodes I'm most proud of, so... Um, and, I, and I love those comics. I still read those comics. I still get the double digest at the supermarket I get it mailed to my house and I, I, it's just they delight me still so it's 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 really nice was there any temptation to have Josie Sabrina or Katie Keen in the great hair after oh that's that, that, that that's such a really good question well we had Sabrina in the episode before yeah listen I, I mean I love Josie I love Ashley I love Katie I love Lucy we haven't had Katie and Lucy on Riverdale yet I would love to have uh, uh, all of those ladies back and to ask you a question that you might not have been asked before can you talk about how brilliant Barbara Wallace is as Nana Blossom oh my god she is <laughs> She is such an icon. I remember that when we first introduced her, I remember, you know, it was it was it was sort of like you know, the CW is well known for being a youth network, and we were introducing a, an older character, but she was such an in, instant fan favorite, instant icon. I always like when I'm following um, on Twitter, watching an episode, and she pops up. The fans love her, and she's she's a genius. She's a genius, and she's still on. E she's very active on email. She emails me all the time, so I love her. And you guys have American Psycho coming up. Can you say anything about that to tease it? Yeah, you know, we 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 always try to uh, pick a musical that that fits in with whatever story we're telling on and, and obviously we've been telling a very big story line with Betty and uh, uh, TBK the trash bag killer who's the latest of a long line of serial killers that Betty's tangled with um, so when we started talking about this storyline that we're doing which is that there's going to be a serial killer convention in Riverdale we thought is there a musical element to bring to that and then we thought of American Psycho the musical. and for my last question there's a lot building up with Percival and people like that can you talk about the battle for Riverdale and the rest of the Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's going to be epic and it's going to involve all of our characters sort of banding together. You know, usually our characters are in their separate storylines, but as, this, as the season goes on, more and more people are drawn into this battle.